What we're going to do is I'm going to buy this house because I have the money to do so and then I'm going to rent it out because I hate not whole glade. I'm not going to live here. I'm not going to rent it out yet. I'm going to upgrade it so we can get the most profit. Let's have a quick look while we're here. So it's actually incredibly, incredibly basic. I got one bed there. Trophies. I think the trophy as well improves the property. Um, the pro fucking hell, the value of the property, but that might just be in Fable 2. Let's see if I can put something up there. White Bowery Hinder. That'll fit in for not all Glade, won't it? That's uh, suitable. And let's see if I can give them the Silver Arrow as well, because that will also be suitable here. Well, te technically, if I rent it out, then that's saying the person who's renting this property has killed the White Barbarine and is the best archer in the world, but I'm not going to sell it and rent it out. There we go. And that will generate some money for us over time. This looks like a spot for some treasure. But it doesn't show on the map. Oh, not on the map. On the D-pad in the bottom right-hand corner. But this does look like a dig spot. It will tell you if it's a dig spot. It always will. But it's, just, it's suspicious. Aha, <laughs> silver key. I've got ten. Uh, there we go. See, that was uh, that was not a waste of time. It was good. I want to. There we go. I want to teleport, but when you face a person, it goes to the follow command, and that's just annoying. Uh, okay, let's carry on. Um, well, I'm meant to go back to the Heroes Guild. Um, no, we won't go to the Heroes Guild. We'll go to Batterstone. See if we can hand any books into the teachers. Um, need to speak to Lady Grey. Is it crashed? Come back to it. It's immediately broken. It looks like... It's, the game's still running. Like, the leaves are still moving. Um... But it's tried to teleport me, but it hasn't taken me anywhere, and the, it's all locked up, I can't do anything. There's a quest where you have to get stuff for Lady Grey, and there's a quest where you have to find... Like, evidence, I think it is? I, I've gone off memory here, my memory's not very good. Like, evidence that Lady Grey is a bad person. Something like that. I'm not certain. Well, it's just becoming morning, so the school teacher should get up anytime soon. I'm gonna go get our rent from our owned house. Did we upgrade this? There's a shining thing in the floor there. Gone now. Hmm. No, I, I think we maxed this out, didn't we? There's a yeah. There seems to be a lighting. I want to say glitch, but it might be done on purpose. With the the lamps, like there's a little shine on the floor below them. Uh, when you're far away, when you get close, it disappears. It's not there now. That one. God damn. Proven me wrong. Hmm, I want to get into the school teacher. Let's go and talk to Lady Grey. I can always come back into this area later. Oh, they went flying! Because we increase the strength, we can kick chickens farther. That is an actual thing that happens. Get them stuck on roofs and stuff like that, and get them into glitch spots. I should be allowed in. Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in. Oh, well, thank you. Don't close the door. There we go. <laughs> yeah, sure you can go on in and close the close the fucking door in my face. You can see like the huge, like, the entire north section, a load load of areas that we uh, can go into. Welcome to Barstone North, hero. This is a quiet district, and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate <laughs> civil behaviour here, so mind you, don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside her mansion. This is a great honour, even for a hero, so mind your manners. He's a special guard who looks different from the rest. He's the constable. I'd steer clear of the holding cell. We've got a real nutcase in there. Yeah, so let's go to the holding cell and look at the nutcase. 
reckon there's some loot in the areas around here. I'll go and have a look in a second. Hello there. Hello. Hmm. You know, a man of your status ought to pay a visit to the mayor. She lives in Bowerstone Manor. Yeah, field. we know. What is the point of you? Why are you here? Who's this guy? Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches and I'll be executed. Okay, so this is a quest that can interfere with Lady Grey's quest. Um... I think if we do Lady's, Lady Grey's quest, you have to do the evil option, so I'm going to ahead, go ahead and do this one. Yes, finally! We're going to bring that crazy witch down! All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. Give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them. Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy, usually hangs out in barrow fields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. Okay, let's go to the barrow fields then. Okay, it's not going to help your cause, buddy, to shout out insults from inside your cell. Hey, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. I'm just uh, looking around your house, see if you've got any loot for me. Hello. This dude lives with two other women. Interesting. That's a shop there. Pretty decent shop as well. I've got loads of stuff in it. I have a certain this loot, like maybe a chest or a key somewhere here. Excuse me. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, oh, chest, there is one. I knew it. Five hundred gold. I hope you don't mind that I took that from you. It was just in the chest, and I'm I can't help myself but open them. Liberator. Let's go and talk to Lady Grey. At the very least, start this quest. So, you're the one everyone is talking about. I must say, you have me intrigued. Will you walk with me to the courtyard? I would so love to speak with you. We're already in the courtyard. Okay, we're here. <laughs> but sometimes it feels like the loneliest place in the world. You see, I haven't married yet. Somehow I've never met a man worthy enough. I've always known that only someone who could conquer the arena could conquer me. Perhaps you could bring me a gift from town. I'm sure you can find something fitting for a lady. Hmm. So yep, yeah, that's her quest. You got a romance her by a gift that she wants, complete a few of her requests, and yeah, marry her. And then you can move into the mansion, which you need to do if you want to get all the silver keys, I believe. Uh, but you also, it's also the evil option, so she's a horrible person. So what we're going to do is we're going to complete the quest for the prisoner. And I'm going to go and look on Wikipedia because I believe there's a way to fuck these, uh, these quests up. Oh, okay. Let's see, right then, let's go. Maybe I've been wrong this entire time. <laughs> I know that is not a new concept that I uh, say something that turns out to be completely wrong. I think if we complete the um, investigating the mayor side quest, which we got from the prisoner, we can still get the silver key and all that jazz. No, oh, I know what it is. There's a demon door that uh, you can only open if you marry Lady Grey. That's what it is. It's not the silver key. Ooh, silver key. Oh, I'm celebrating. Look at it. Why, that's the creatures of Albion, Volume One. 
A perfect way to learn natural sciences. Okay, let's have a listen. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. Today, we'll be studying Volume 1 of The Creatures of Albion. Now, who here knows what screamers are? People who scream? I bet you've never heard one, though, have you? That's because they stay away from the towns. But out in the countryside, it's a rather different story. And you can sometimes hear them crying out in the night. Their scream can pierce even the bravest of men's hearts. Hearing it will not just chill you to the bone, but sap your energy, too. According to the sage Richard Phillips, they feed upon the life force of men, sucking out their souls. By the way, if you ever see one, you'll soon end up like them, screaming. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> one kid found it hilarious. I get that. He's going to grow up to be a psychopath. Any books for us today, hero? Hmm. With a title like that, I'm sure this will be suitable for the children. Thank you, hero. I'm sure we... Yeah, I love the story. The warrior doth take its toll on a hero's face. And ere long, women will fly and escape before he can give chase. Scarred and dejected, a hero named Ralph stole all of the trader's riches. He made use of their gold and bought romantic gifts for all of the ladies. <laughs> Wenches, I get it. The of Albion fell at his feet, and Ralph had the pick of the town. Till he finally chose a pretty young girl and bought her a fine wedding gown. But too late did he see that love that is true isn't founded on wealth. His wife's only care was for money and gems he kept up on the shelf. By way of divorce, Ralph exercised his axe on her head. This he did mount up Yay! on the wall, just <laughs> over the bed. So did the woman sadly become the world's first trophy wife. Oh, I get Ralph it. Ralph did give up the matrimonial for the hero's life. <laughs> Round of applause by the children. Any books for us today? Oh, what's this? The sock method? Uh, yes, oh well, uh, perhaps when they're uh, a little older, don't you think? Okay, here we go. Uh, if you think that's wise, hero... The sock method? This is going to be a bit awkward. Uh, let's turn to the sock method and see how we can make you sexier in 10 days. Now, it looks like this hero still needs a little practice. Hey, fuck you! Perhaps he could demonstrate something simple? Come on. Oh my, that's quite enough of that, hero. <laughs> and that brings today's lesson to a close. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. You have a donation there, hero. That's the Guild of Zeros. I thought your guild had every copy of the book burned, <laughs> along with its author. All right, then. The Journal of Bloody Nose. Zero in training. Day 14. This week, we've been developing our stealth skills by playing hide and seek. Knowing how to run and hide from your enemies is an important skill for any Zero, says Days. He seems to be a master of the art. It took us all day to find him after he teleported away. Eventually, we heard his cries and found him wedged inside a hollow tree in the academy woods. 
He wasn't at all happy that it took us so long to find him, but he decided to test our hiding skills next. We must be really good at it, because we've been out here in the woods for two days now, and he still hasn't found us. <laughs> Uh, I like fast forward this time when you get a story read to you. Makes sense when you think about it. There we go. Alright then, let's go somewhere else. We need to go to the barrel fields, don't we, to do the quest for Lady Grey. Or do the uh, investigate Lady Grey. Barrel fields, let's do it. And on my uh, evil playthrough, I'll do. Uh, I'll marry Lady Grey. I'll do the evil, oh, evil shit that she requires. Be a bad person. Don't think we can. We can become fat enough for that demon door. We need a lot more food. Are you the dude? Maybe I should throw myself into the sea. Oh, he didn't sound very happy. Amanda? Yes, of course, I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. She was afraid her sister would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. So we'd meet in secret in the Grey House cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. I mean, I don't talk at all, so everything's too painful for my hero to talk about. Uh, I think we've got a fishing point here. So that's what I need to do. We need to go to the Lady Grey house, which I think is just around the corner. It's either this one, because there's two like evil houses in the game. I think. I don't know if this is it. Uh, Grey house, yeah, this is the one. I think there's one that's like the dark house or something like that later on. I think it might be so many dark woods actually. So you finally met Jack of Blades. Oh, and this is the main mission. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside. But the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him, just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? Uh, this yes. Is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. I mean, I oh, skim read it. And Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... Hmm, I don't know if we can do the quest because of that cause scene. We'll give it a go and see what happens. Is there a fishing point here? Nope. I should turn the light on because it's dark in here, so it's duped like that. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is have a look around. And we need to flash our lamp inside here three times, just like. Okay. Interesting. So now we can go into the cellar. It would be locked otherwise. Oh, 
We're going to have a look at the Demon Door. And in our, I guess in those bodies of water, there's going to be some fishing points. Uh, does it look like it here? Ah, uh, there's one. Should be easy. Come on, give me your loot. Done. We get a silver key. Awesome. Best thing we could have received. And what do you want? Single men not allowed. You need a ball and chain. One with a title. Yes, this is the demon door that requires you to be married to Lady Grey. Bring her here, show her, her to the demon door, and he'll let you in. Which we can't do on this playthrough because we're going to be a good guy. <laughs> 